Hey, beautiful Capricorns, this is your bonus reading. Let's get you some fortunes on this, Capricorn. 22 Major Arcana, and there are, I think, three blanks in here for me to figure out. Capricorn. Capricorn. Thank you. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, High Priestess, Ooh. <laughs> Blank, Mystery, The Sun, and the Moon. What is ever dark has come to light. You cannot hide. There are no mysteries from the High Priestess if she is willing to reveal. But she is not revealing someone's destiny. Because High Priestess is hiding until it is brought to light. So High Priestess is not revealing someone's destiny probably because there is deception here so let me see why is the high priestess not revealing someone's destiny someone's fate oh because they want to Someone wants to take control of it. That's why. <laughs> okay. They want it for themselves. They want it for themselves because they're heavily burdened. Ooh, because there is deception, betrayal. That's why the high priestess, sometimes the high priestess will not reveal for your own protection. Once you to stay in this positive energy, it will be revealed when it is time for it to be revealed. So, hmm. Higher power, higher authority. Somebody is out here doing some fuck shit. That's why. This is to do with a relationship. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. Someone is very jealous of your destiny. That is why. Mm -hmm. Very jealous of your Ten of Pentacles. Okay. High Priestess isn't revealing to protect your legacy. There's somebody over here doing some nasty stuff. Let me just take a break on this. And see what who's this nasty ass energy. Hmm. They have a blocked 
crown chakra. Is this a dark high priestess? What's going on here? Okay, they have a blocked third eye and they have a blocked crown chakra. So they are not connected to a higher power. They are not a seer. They are not connected to source. At all. They're a feminine hater. So it's one chick hating another chick here. That's what we got going on. We've got a hater. <coughs> a feminine hater hating on someone, another feminine. Higher power is stepping in here. That's why they're in the dark. They have a blocked crown chakra and a blocked third eye. They could be trying to see through the tarot. They could be trying to, to, let's see what's going on here, man. Let's go. Who's this feminine hater spirit? Okay. Trying to, this person's messed the hell right up. They have no, they lack creativity. They, I don't know. Trying to get you to act out of character. They're a trickster spirit. They're trying to send you like trickster energy. You may, you've got more than one. You've got a masculine and a feminine who are hating on you. Sacral chakra, there's something going on here. Oh, shit. Mood swings. Blocking. You know what? Their hatred uh, is causing them blockages. Oh, they are. They are proclaiming to be a high priestess. This other lover is like either trying to gather information on you through the tarot or they are proclaiming to be a high priestess and they are not. 
They have a blocked crown chakra, a blocked third eye. They're no high priestess. That's why the sun is up. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the high priestess. This is a fake. I'm sorry, they are. They're being controlled by this person. They wanted this person to reject this love offer. Uh-huh. They're lying. They're lying. See, this is you over here. Fucking right, they're a they're a dark magician. Yes, they are. Okay. There's a masculine hater here who is a magician. This could be a masculine Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or this is a practitioner. And there is a Queen of Swords. Who is the feminine hater? They could be friends. They could be in a, a spouses or these are occultists or practitioners. What the hell? Jealous haters. Haters. They're jealous and they're haters. This is two. There is a masculine hater and a feminine hater. These two are the haters. Now, spell work can be done through the tongue. Like, you don't have to be sitting doing witchcraft and black magic and all that stuff. However, I'm not going to eliminate that possibility. They could be lovers. They're doing this work together. could be doing fuckery here. Making someone have mood swings. Trying to
They're getting their kicks out of fucking with someone. That's what they're doing. I have a feeling that this is the real, authentic reader. These are fakes. This is a psychic. They could even be a psychic medium. But they use their works for good purposes. For... for they don't use it to hurt people with. They are the sun. They are, they're very positive. They use, they do their work for good intentions. They have good intentions. I knew that this high priestess was going to come out over here. I knew it. Um, you're over here. You're all these people. You are the High Priestess, the Temperance Angel, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. This King of Wands might be getting fucked with by two practitioners or the King of Wands has hired two practitioners to find out shit on you. I don't know what's going on here. This person's getting like strong mood swings. So they're trying to affect, I don't know if they were trying to affect you or they're trying to affect the King of Wands' mood swings. If the King of Wands has hired practitioners to do this F shit, it's coming back on them. It's causing them mood swings. It's causing them blocked. See these two here? Not sure. What are these two up to, Spirit? What are they up to? Trying to see the future here. This is King and Queen of Cups with Destiny. They're pissed. They're trying to cause someone mood swings. Like, make them irrational. Make them act out of character. They go from love and you being wish fulfillment to like angry, hateful, mean. What the hell's going on here? Why are they doing this shit? To keep, get the shit. They are doing spell work. To, for this person to push the empress away. Are they accusing the empress? Making accusations against the empress? Because of their own fuck shit. Oh, God. My Lord. Uh, this is heavy reading for me. The energy is intense here on this energy. And I don't like it. 
I don't like it at all. I, uh, when I see this work being done here, I, 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 it's haters. So if it's not the form of spell work as in doing spells, it's by their tongues, which is the same as spell work. Wishing ill will on to other people, wishing bad things to happen to good people. I'm sorry. I don't care what they call it. The tongue is a weapon. Especially when they're slandering. And the funny thing about this is they're actually cowards. I'm going to say it. I'm going to call them straight up cowards because they do this F shit behind the backs, behind the scenes. They don't have the kahunas to come up and say what they gotta say. They just do it behind the scenes. Done. That's what's going on. Capricorn, that is what is going on. That's what's saying what's going on. There is this, this came out in your read yesterday as well. A king and a queen of swords, bad mouthing, slandering, all behind the back. The tongue is a weapon. It is a weapon. And when it is used to gossip, to cause slander, to somebody who is freaking innocent, do not be surprised at all when it comes back on them. Because nowadays people do return to senders. You got to be careful who you're messing with. I'm just saying, people, if this is a high priestess and you are slandering or they are slandering a high priestess, an empress, and this is the empress's. Uh, do not be shocked. Do not be surprised one bit if it ends up coming back all onto their own beds. I got no use for haters. I got no use for people who want to spend their time, energy, resources, sitting around, gossiping, hashing out with their evil tongues about slander, about accusations, about this, about that, about the other thing. They should learn to shut their mouth. And there is a higher power listening here. They're not fooling spirit. They don't fool anybody. They're fake. These are fake human beings. I'm not interested to read on them. So, they're trying to cause depression, they're trying to cause mood swings, they're trying to cause all kinds of friction, and I don't like them. And like I said, there's a higher force, bigger than them, that hears all, sees all, and knows all. They should watch their mouth, because spirit's getting fed up. Oh, cannot... They're trying to like, somebody is very, they're trying to cause somebody depression, trying to cause somebody loneliness, trying to like isolate them. This is fuck shit. I don't like it. I don't care who it is. People got to stop doing this stuff. They say, I don't do spell work. I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't have, it. their tongue is their weapon. That's what's going on here.
Some people just don't know when to shut their mouth. Seriously. They got to keep it up and keep it up until they end up. And then they cry the loudest when they get shit happen to them. <gasps> you know, they are going to end up crying the loudest. Because all the nasty stuff, when you do that to the universe and you send those intentions out to the universe, it goes and it comes right back. You send out good, good comes back to you. You send out negative, evil, it comes back to you. Because these people are protected. People don't realize their tongues can cause an intentional or unintentional. It's the energy they're sending out, and that is the energy that will be reciprocated back to them. Holy God. That's what I mean. They get all wrapped up in their own little worlds, in their own little bubble, and what comes around goes around. It's just like a circle. This one says this, and they do this, and it goes right back to the person who sent it. There is a higher power involved here. Whether anybody wants to admit it or not. I don't care what your faith is. I don't care what your religious beliefs are. Your spiritual beliefs. The tongue is very destructive. So they have no reason to cry and whine when it comes back on them. Absolutely none. They will be crying the loudest. Take care.